do not send your song out to get mixed unless you do this first. This song was mixed by me, but we have the opportunity to get it mixed by a really big industry mix engineer. I want to strip everything away, have no effects, have them completely dry. That's how they requested them. No panning, no compression, no EQ, completely dry. And I have to strip everything away. There's some very easy ways to do that in FL Studio. Watch this. Mixer is full. We have a whole bunch of panning going on. I'm going to save as on this session just so I have a new version of it. And then I'll just say dry version that way if i mess anything up it only happens to this version and not the old version and i'm going to reset every single one of these tracks that are being panned take away any of the panning and then very easy just to turn off all these plugins you don't have to go into each individual one and turn them off just go to this button right here and disable the effect slots on every single channel that way everything is completely dry and we have nothing going on at all whatsoever and just for the hell of it i'm going to turn off the sends then just scroll through and make sure everything is off. All this stereo delay, turn all those back to normal too. Reset those. And if you're wondering how I'm resetting these things so fast, I just either hold the Alt key, left click, or I click the mouse wheel and it resets everything. Boom, 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 boom. Everything is getting reset. And don't worry about these effect sends because they're being sent here, but all those effects are completely turned off. So there's not going to be any reverb. And if you're worried about it, just unroute them. If you're worried about that reverb coming through, which it's not going to, you can even go in here and turn these plugins off if you like, like that. Double check and make sure everything is being sent to a mixer track. In my case, if they're not being sent to a mixer track, that means I wasn't using them anyways. So we could just go ahead and delete these. I'm not using those. I know they're not being sent to the mixer track on purpose because I did that, but make sure anything that you want to be stemmed out and tracked out, it needs to be sent to the mixer or else it's not going to track it out. It'll put it in the master, but it won't put it in its own track out. Everything right now, go to all, make sure everything is being sent. Everything is being sent there. Make sure nothing's doubled up on the same track unless you want it doubled up on the same track. So it should be good. And also to make it easy for the mix engineer, I'm going to name each one of these tracks now because he's not going to know what this is. What he's going to do, he's going to be able to see everything, but I just like to make things just a little bit easier for the engineer. So I'm just going to go and rename this one verse, right? And then the next one will be dub. This is a double. And then the next one, this can, there's these little key commands if you scroll over and hit f2 i believe you can rename it this is going to be the ad lib and then so on and so on the buses are going to come through but we're not going to need those buses we'll leave them as is for now but when we export these i'll show you we can probably just delete those files all the other drums are pretty much named correctly they should be self-explanatory there shouldn't have any issues there make sure that we have enough space at the end so that way it tails off and doesn't end abruptly yep so leave that dead space there. That way we know for a fact nothing gets cut off at the end. And we go to file, go to export, go to wave, create a folder on the desktop. I'm only human by my boy, false alias prod by your boy, All right? Select that folder, save, export window will pop up and then make sure it's on wave. Full song, you can do 32 bit float, 24 is good stereo make sure these are good split mixer tracks disable any insert effects which we already did but just another fail safe turn it off there enable master effects turn that off as well just to be safe and then we're good hit start now the job's not completely done just yet i like to make sure that the folder that the engineer is going to be getting is cleaned up a little bit as well because fl studio likes to create a couple extra tracks we can leave the master that's self-explanatory there we'll leave that but let's get rid of this reverb track don't need that reverb because it's not going to be reverb coming through the vocal bus again we can get rid of that one don't need the vocal bus he's going to bust it himself we can get rid of this delay sometimes you'll see one that says current you can also get rid of that one it's not here in this case but yeah that's it then right click that folder compress to zip file and then the last thing i'll do is just make sure i double check and triple check my work that's one of the most important things that you can do when you're doing things like this and sending things out, especially when you're working with somebody that's very busy, that has a crazy schedule, that's in the industry, and you know that they're doing this as a favor to you in this case, like they're doing this as a huge favor. So I want to make this as easy as possible for him as I can. So I'm double and I'm triple checking my work. So I'm going to take the folder as if I got it from somebody else and I'm going to import these stems into a blank session just to make sure everything is good to go and then i'm just going to go through them literally i'm going to go through one by one and listen to every single stem not in full but i'm going to give everything a nice look over make sure it's all good make sure there's nothing sent to the same track like Sometimes things get doubled up and there's multiple instruments or multiple vocals going into the same track. You don't want that. That creates a headache and they have to reach out and say, hey, can you separate these three tracks for me? You don't want that. It's extra work for everybody. Like I said, we have the master. This is our main synth. 
I could see in most cases that it's good to go just by looking at things. Let's start claps. This is the main verse. Get the man victory, acting out. Completely dry. Making sure everything's dry. We're all good to go. Double, triple check my work. Everything sounds good. Everything looks good. I'm going to send this off now. Follow for more FL Studio tips and share this with a friend if you get me.